Hello everyone. It's so good to see you again. It's time for Silence of the Lamb Burgers. Welcome back to Hank Riddle with Hank Ball. Today we're going to go ahead and do Silence of the Lamb Burgers. These burgers are so good, they'll rip your face off. Come on back, I'm going to show you how to put them things together. On the ground lamb, we're going to go ahead and put this lamb, season it up before we make the burgers. That's what's going to make it real good. We'll go ahead and add in a couple of tablespoons of adobo seasoning. I don't know if you know about the adobo. Adobo goes on nobo everything. I don't know how that what that means. A couple of tablespoons of lemon juice. About a tablespoon and a quarter of minced garlic. A tablespoon of cumin. That's how them some little Greeks say it. They say cumin. That's what I've been told anyway. They pronounce it cumin. So go ahead and add three tablespoons of lemon pepper. Three tablespoons of Curry powder, because that's the good stuff. That's going to make it taste, mmm-hmm. A little bit of kosher salt. You got all your stuff. Once you got all your stuff in, just start mixing it all together until you get it all mixed up real good. And then we're going to patty them out. Come on back. We're going to patty these things out. Get the lamb burgers all mixed up. You need to go ahead and make a nice little ball out of lamb. Get it all nice and balled up about the size of the palm of your hand. Start patting them bad boys out. Get them nice and padded out for a good size for you. Once you get them padded out, they'll work out and be a nice size burger, but once you get them on the grill, they'll shrink down a little bit. So don't be afraid about making you a big one. <laughs> I hate you so much. Don't be afraid about making a big old burger out of it because uh, it'll work out pretty good. So keep patting that burger until you get them the size that you want. Let them out all nice and pretty. It's a beautiful thing. Once you get your burgers all padded out and laid out, you want to put them back in the refrigerator for about a half hour. Because put them back in the refrigerator for about a half hour. Firm them up a little bit so they don't fall apart so bad when they're on the grill. Come on back, we're going to put them on the grill for you. Go ahead and make some ziki sauce or jaziki sauce or whatever them Greek people call it. We're going to start out with some Greek yogurt. Now, hey Bob here, I done strained this Greek yogurt once and all you got to do is get your nice colander. Set you some cheesecloth in it or maybe a coffee. If you ain't got no cheesecloth, put your coffee filter in there. Coffee filter in the bottom, sit on top of the bowl, put this on, put the Greek yogurt on top of it, put it in the refrigerator, let it drain stuff out. Alright, so we got this. This is all nice and drained up. We'll add a little bit of salt, black pepper, a couple tablespoons of minced garlic, about three tablespoons of lemon juice. We'll add in one diced medium cucumber. Go ahead and add that cucumber on in there. And that's going to freshen this thing right on up. Get to mixing. Mix your ziki sauce up. It's going to go on top of the burger. It's going to be so much better than ketchup any day of the week, I promise you. Come on back. We're going to keep on cooking. Burger's been in the fridge for about a half hour. You got the grill heated on up. We'll hold ahead and open this whole bulk keg. We got the bulk keg again. Go open up the bulk keg. We're going to put the burger right on there. By the way, Hank Bob Original. If you would like one, they will be for sale soon. All right, so anyhow, shameless plug. <laughs> so your burger's right on the grill. Oh man, hear them bad boys sizzle. And they only gonna have to be on there for about four minutes on one side. I'm gonna flip them over for four minutes on the other. Just one flip, just be good, nice, medium. Take them off and ready to eat. Come on back, we'll take these off and get ready to eat something. We did it. We finished up them signs for the lamb burger. Here you go. Man, these things look so good, they might even be good enough served up with a side of farm beans and a nice candy. Alright, but what we're going to do for real though, we're going to go ahead and top this thing on out. We're going to put a little bit of feta cheese on there. Nice slice of tomato on there. We can get it. A couple pieces of romaine lettuce on there and then top the whole thing off. Some of that ziki sauce we made earlier. Tell you what, don't come no better. That ziggy sauce on lamb burger. Now let's hear some toasted pita chips that we made on the grill. We grilled them, toasted them out, throw them on there with a little bit of hummus. Man, I tell you what, you're in for a treat to make some of these sides of lamb burger. See y'all next time, somebody don't eat my brains first. Put the sauce in the basket. No, not that sauce, the barbecue sauce. Put the barbecue sauce in the basket. Yeah, put it in the basket. Or bad things will happen. Put it in the basket. Well, 
Come on, man, let's make us a deal. Science of the land. Burn. Put the sauce in the basket. Oh, wait, you can't reach it from there? Okay. And now, put the sauce in the He told me I see. Ha <laughs> ha.